Hello everyone, this is Monica from Looking for Group. I'm here today with Toby Ebel, the eSports head coach at Baker University. How are you doing today, Toby? I'm doing well, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So the first question I have for you is, how did the program get started at your institution? Well, we actually started uh, our first year of competition a year ago in the fall of 2019. And it had kind of been in some discussions and been think they've been thinking about it for, I'd say, probably a year to 18 months prior to that, uh, just as um, kind of a way to grab new students to come to Baker University, but also as, you know, kind of a new, reaching a new niche, a new group of people that didn't have necessarily uh, the same opportunities as traditional athletes. So, and, and getting them, helping them find their way and have a chance at a scholarship, uh, a varsity athletic scholarship, even though those folks might not have been the same type of person who would get those, you know, like our other students do. Yeah. Our other uh, students do. It's really impressive how you're able to identify this group of students. Were they, did they come to you about this? Did someone in administration hear about this group of students who were interested in playing? How did this, how did they get mobilized ultimately? Well, that's a good question. Obviously, you know that esports as a as a varsity scholarship sport across the nation is relatively new. Mm -hmm. I want to say what like twenty fifteen, so four or five years at the most. And so, um, I but the club and uh, just kind of homegrown gaming and and tournaments that have been going on has kind of been uh, getting bigger and bigger. And so you kind of started to see those trends, right? Yeah. The, those clubs are growing on campuses, and then it just kind of made sense to go ahead and say, well. Um, if we're starting to get enough schools uh, involved that we could have competitions on a regular basis, then it might make sense to go ahead and offer these kind of kids uh, scholarships and, and opportunities. So, Awesome. So you mentioned scholarships a few times. Can you talk to me a little bit about the scholarship offerings at Baker? Does a student have to play varsity? Do you have a competitive and casual community difference at your institution? We really don't have a difference. We're, we're okay. offering a, a, a city athletic scholarship. Um, we feel like it's really competitive, and we, you know, from what I know from talking to other coaches and directors, it is pretty competitive and right online with most of the other schools. And so it gets you, um, you know, a great savings towards your education <laughs> and, and what we feel is like one of the best educations in the Midwest. So, I mean, it just is something that kind of makes sense. So we've been happy to, to get it going and to keep it rolling. And um, we've had, we don't have a split, like you mentioned, to say, uh, between club and varsity players, but we do have some, some folks who were current students already that are not on scholarship that are part of the team at the moment. But we, I expect that that will phase out, you know, over the next two to three years and we'll only have scholarship athletes on. Okay. But anybody can compete at the varsity level for us. Okay, so what kinds of things are you looking for in that kind of student, the one who wants to play competitively? <laughs> I mean, we're looking at all the things that you would for a traditional athlete. You know, obviously, do you have a passion for your mm -hmm. for gaming or for your title that you play, et cetera? Do you, are you uh, a person of high character, uh, moral fiber, and then, of course, strong academic interests and an interest to graduate and go out and, and start a great career after do you have any academic components to the esports program at this time? We don't yet. It is definitely something that's on our radar, and so um, there's not very many that I that I'm aware of. I, I want to say less than two dozen across the United States that actually have like a full mm -hmm. degree offered or program. A few others have like a course or two that you could take in esports. I think we'd like to go the route of of offering a full program, which takes a little bit more time to put together. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of schools are going for certificates or minors or things along those lines. Right. Um, you're right, very few of majors exist right now, but very cool that you guys are gonna go all the way with that. Um, so g changing gears a little bit, do, can you tell me a little bit about the facility on Baker's campus, if there is one? Sure, yeah, we have, um, we actually took a classroom that was in our newest dorm and so it's we're right there in our living space we have a classroom i would say it's about seven or eight hundred square feet we've got 16 uh alienware computers in there right now of course we're all separated by mm. plexiglass for COVID concerns but um it's it's a great little space uh, everything in there is is relatively new we have a dedicated network just to that room 
to make sure that when we're competing, you know, we don't have any uh, any bandwidth problems. Uh, so it's been a pretty good little space for us. We're really hoping to outgrow it. Uh, last year, at the start of the season, we had 30 people on the roster. Uh, so for a space of 16 computers and, mm. you know, that size, it, it's pretty full most of the time. Now, obviously, this year is entirely different for a variety of reasons. Our roster is down to about 22 and of course, with COVID concerns, we're not in there as much and not, not nearly as many people at once because we have to be careful about that. So of that 22 um, student member population, what is the game distribution? How many students play what? What are the main, I guess, core games of your campus? Or is it all so, over the place? <laughs> it, it has been a little bit all over the place, but I definitely can tell you about it. It's uh, We have a few that overlap, okay. luckily. So able to offer multiple titles that does make it different difficult for scheduling purposes so uh but we typically you know we're really strong in rocket league and Fortnite. um we won competitions in those last year and we're really strong again in those again we're also uh getting better in league of legends and we we actually also won an apex tournament last, uh, last year as well. congratulations so apex thank you and we do play League of Legends. We are working on, uh, you know, increasing our skills there. Uh, we're, we're probably low gold rank for the most part on average. We need to work there. And we have an Overwatch team. We're a little bit short um, this semester of a full team just because of uh, some people took gap years and things like that. And we had some graduate from last year that were pretty strong players. So, um, and, and of course, brand new to everybody, we have a, we have a Valorant team as well. Ah, very cool. Yeah, I've been seeing a few of those pop up recently. How's that going so far? Yeah. Well, we we haven't competed yet. Okay. Actually, tonight's our first night of any competitions. For uh, we're going to start Rocket League with Nace. I'm sure you're familiar yeah. with Nace. So they have a preseason um, match tonight. So we'll play twice tonight, and then next week we start with uh, the regular season, and we'll play like uh, seven weeks in a row. And then uh, we're also playing in Valorant. Uh, competition so that's every wednesday for about five weeks so those two things are for sure on our radar and then we're setting up uh for some league of legends on saturdays and um uh, we're doing Fortnite through play versus on monday night so we have we're doing something about every day it sure week. sounds that way it sounds like you're a busy guy um so okay. would baker <laughs> is baker a member of the nace organization Okay. Yes, All right. And they're offering those tournaments through their membership. That's okay. Right. Very yes. cool. Very cool. I remember hearing they were a little, I didn't know what was going on with them for a while. So I'm very glad to hear that they're doing some, um, <laughs> some programs, which is great. Well, you know, obviously they're, they're learning. Too. Yeah. We're all, all over the place with this stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's why we're trying to get all this information in one place. Um, you know, just to right. keep it easy. Cause, uh, someone's got to do it. What you're doing. I, think, <laughs> I think it will be great to have a, a database like that someplace that, uh, a recruiter potential athlete can go and just look up what they want. Yeah. I don't know how robust your, your search will be, but I assume that you'll be able to let folks put in parameters and yep. say, Hey, I want to, or find a school in the Midwest that's playing rock and Precisely. And, this and, that. and yep. boom, here's a list. Baker will be at the top, right? You got it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Two more questions for you, and then and then I can send you off to finish your day. So they're kind of related. I want to know one unique thing about Baker's program, and I also want to know if you have any advice for incoming students who might be applying to your program or just generally applying to any collegiate esports program. Sure. Okay. Well, um, going in that order, I, I think that the thing that's most unique about Baker is that, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. We started in our first year, but we still competed in uh, seven titles overall. And so, and we had a group of 30 students on the roster. So we were, we were, that felt big to us right away. And we ended up, um, our Rocket League team was, was pretty good, and we ended up playing uh, Boise State. And we lost to them twice in overtime against their, their A team. And so we were really strong. And it's just been, I felt really lucky and blessed that we were that competitive on our first year yeah. in the three titles. And so I'm hoping to continue that. I mean, our Rocket League team is going to be strong again. We have two grand champions on the team and they're both returners from last year. So we're going to be strong again. We know that 
and it's just kind of fun to be competitive right out of the gate. Mm-hmm. So that makes us unique. Um, advice for uh, future students, those looking for a scholarship. You know, there's so many factors. I, I think that my first piece of advice is to make sure that you you visit the campus if at all possible. You go and meet the people, uh, meet the coaching staff, and but do more than that. Meet the faculty, meet with the admission folks, get a tour, get a chance to kind of see whether this is going to be the right fit for you. And I think we do a great job of that. We have some really good um, admission folks and representatives who will take you on a tour around campus and kind of get you involved and see if this is going to be a good fit for you um, before you actually make a make a decision and commit. So I don't know. That's about the best piece of advice I can give. It's a good. Not necessarily related to esports, but it's it's important yeah. if you're going to fit in wherever you the next four years. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to make it 100% esports focused. There are other buckets that need attention too. You want to make sure it's a good exactly. fit overall. Yeah, I think that's really good advice. Absolutely. Um, well, that concludes all the questions I have for you. Is there anything else you want to mention about Baker's program while I have you today here on video? Um, I, I don't think so. I just say, hey, keep watching us. Um, I would like to plug our stream because we're going to be all on right. twitch.tv. It's just twitch.tv slash Baker University Esports. Okay. Please tune in. All right. I like that.